Okay, another issue you need to be able to troubleshoot is when you can't SSH into an EC2 instance. Number one is you need to make sure that the private key file, the PM file, does have the 400 permissions. Otherwise, we'll get an unprotected private key file error, and we'll see this in a second. If we connect to a Linux and we give the wrong username, we'll get a host key not found error. So we'll see this in a second as well. And then finally, if you get a connection timeout and these happen, they're usually a security group issue because they're not configured correctly or the instance CPU load is so high that we can't reply to us. So let's have a look with these three issues in the hands-on. So I'm going to SSH into my first instance. That's the only one I have left running. And let's go ahead and try things out. So first of all, I will mess around with the permissions of my file. And so I will just assign wrong permissions to my PEM file. Now, if I try to do the SSH using my PEM file and copy the IP address, now we get an unprotected private key file error. That's because the permissions are too opened. And so because we have bad permissions, we can't log in. So what I have to do again, what I did before is schmod 400, and then we pass in the PEM file, and then we can finally log in. Great, that one worked. So that's issue number one. Issue number two is when you SSH into the machine, but you don't provide the right username. So this EC2 user right here is provided because it says Amazon Linux 2. But if we think mistakenly that it's Ubuntu, you know, who knows, and we do this and press enter, then we get a permission denied. And that's because we're logging into the wrong username. So that's issue number two, and that's very, very common. Again, make sure you log into EC2 user at the IP, not Ubuntu at the IP. Now this works. Finally, let's mess around a little bit with the security group and see how things work. So we are here and I'm going to go to my security group. And as we can see right now, we allow SSH from everywhere. But if we allow SSH from um, or nowhere, so we'll just remove SSH rule, for example, or having none, and we try to SSH into our machine, now it just times out. There is nothing that happens. And so when you see a timeout, that either means that the security group rules are wrong, just like right now, or that the CPU usage of our EC2 instance is too high. But we know that our EC2 instance is not doing anything right now, so the CPU usage is fine. So this timeout issue really reflects on a timeout, and that timeout is due to the security group rule being wrong. So again, if you want to make this work, you need to add the SSH rule on port 22 from a cider that allows you to SSH into it. Simple, right? So now if I stop this and re-SSH, now I'm in. Okay, excellent. So we've seen the three most common issues when we try to SSH. You have to remember them, but they're very common as a sysops admin that you'll have. And I will see you in the next lecture.